Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. My video today is just some hair ideas that I came up with when I was messing about. I kind of feel inspired by the new season of Vikings, or I'm looking forward to it, so I've been thinking a lot about it, and I've come up with some Viking-esque sort of braids. And I'm going to be using mostly like a caterpillar braid, and if you don't know how to do that, I will have my braidsionary video linked in the underbar below, but I will try to give a very brief explanation as I'm going along. So right now I'm kind of obsessed with a diagonal part and I will show you how that is done. Sort of start at the crown or you can kind of start off at the side a little bit and you just draw a diagonal line. So next I'm just going to divide my hair into two even pieces. I just blew out my hair and it's relatively straight. I don't want to make a ponytail because I feel like the elastic will crease my hair so I'm just going to make a little braid to hold this bottom section of hair out of my way. Starting by taking a section here at the front of my face and a caterpillar braid is pretty much a two strand braid and one section of the hair is always thicker than the other one and it's the thin piece that wraps over the thicker one. So you kind of wrap it over and bring it through like that kind of like a knot and you bring it slide it forward and there's your first stitch. Again, taking another small piece you wrap it over you make like a loop and you pull the hair through kind of slide it up and join the thin piece to this piece here and you're gonna do it all the way kind of around your head so it's kind of like a lace braid in a way Since I've added all the hair from my hairline here to my ear in I'm going to start to use this hair that I've sectioned out here at the back Just taking the smaller sections from my hairline but now I'm going to take them by pulling them straight down and crossing them over this way. Continue adding your hair into this braid until you've got none left and then just caterpillar braid the rest of the hair strand as normal. Tie it off with a small elastic, wrap the braid up and around your head and use a few pins to hold it in place. In this version I started off the same way by making the caterpillar braid or rather I left it in from the previous hairstyle. Um, but I'm stopping just here and I'm going to continue this by making a double cat caterpillar braid which is basically taking strands from both sides. So I just did my last loop here so I'm going to add all the hair together and start making loops on both sides and I'm just going to do that for the length of this hair. I'm not going to add any more into this. Here I've divided my hair into two pieces and I've clipped up the top half for a moment. I've sectioned a small strand on the left side of the lower portion of hair and with it I've created a three strand braid. With another small elastic I connected my caterpillar braid to this three strand and then let down the top section of hair. I decided to take advantage of my cool diagonal parting with some accent braids. Here I'm simply winging it. I used a rat tail comb to section a sliver of hair which I French braided and in lack of the tradition, I decided that two micro braids were better than one. In this version, I started with the center part and then used a comb to make a headband section. It went from ear to ear and I used a couple of styling clips to hold back the lower portion of my hair. With the comb, I went back to the top section of hair and divided it into three even pieces. Again, I used several clips to hold all of my sections apart, and since I'm working with the center piece last, I brushed it forward and pinned it up and out of the way. Starting on the left side, I began a French double caterpillar braid, and I rotated by adding hair from the top into the braid first, and then hair from the bottom into the braid second, and so on and so on until it was all used. This doesn't turn out quite as neat or as even as a more traditional French braid, but I think that's something I like about it. Again, if you're unfamiliar with any of the braids I'm using, please feel free to check out my braidsionary for more thorough directions. 
The center section of hair was brushed back and tied into a single square knot which I then pinned into place. I've used this technique before in a previous biking hair video and if you'd like to see it there will be a link in the underbar. The last step is easy, you just pull the two double caterpillar braids up, wrap them around the knot from the center section and use a few pins to hold them in place. Just tuck the braid tails under as best as you can. Once again I made a center part and then a headband section going from ear to ear and I used a few claw clips to hold the back portion of hair out of my way. And the rest was pretty simple too. This is basically a lace caterpillar braid going from one side of the head to the other. I started on my left side and just added hair in from the hairline. When the first braid was completed I just repeated the steps. Another headband part and another lace braid going from one side of the head to another. At the end, I used a few pins to secure parts of the braids together, although sewing them with some thread or ribbon probably would have looked even better. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed these little made-up ideas, and I will see you all next time. Bye!